All right then, gang. So we've seen now how we can get data and we're logging that data to the console and also add new data and delete data as well from a collection. But at the minute, if we were to add new data or delete data, then in order to see the updated collection data in the console, we'd have to refresh the page, right? Let me demo that. If I add in a new book, so The Way of Kings again, and then Brandon Sanderson, like so, hit enter, it adds the book but we don't see that new data over here right away. We have to refresh the page in order to see that data. Now, if we were rendering this data to the browser so that it output on the screen in some kind of template, then the same would be true. We'd have to refresh the page after we added a new book in order to see that in the browser, right? So instead, what we can do is we can set up what's known as a real-time listener or a subscription to the Firestore collection, which actively listens for changes to that collection. So that if I was to add a new book or change a book or delete a book from that collection, then it would send back the updated snapshot or the updated date inside that collection right away once that happens. And then in our case, it would just be re-logging it to the console. But in your case, if you're making a website with Firebase, then it might re-render the template to the browser, okay? So I'm going to show you how we can set up this real-time listener or subscription to a Firestore collection in this lesson. Okay then, so currently we are getting the documents right here using this get docs function. And like we just explored, this get docs function just runs once to get the documents when we run the code, just once. But if there's a change later on in the data, it doesn't automatically run again to go out and fetch the new data. It just runs once. And instead, we want to set up a subscription to the collection so that every time there is a change in the data in that collection, we get that data back right away. So it sends us back a new snapshot every time there's a change, right? So what I'm going to do is change this to a real time collection data because that's what we're going to set up now. And then up here, I'm going to replace get docs with a different function called on snapshot which is how we set up a real time listener using this on snapshot function. So then what I'm going to do is basically rewrite this code right here, but using that new function. So then let's do that down here. I'm going to say on snapshot, which is that function we just imported. And then inside here, we need to pass in two arguments. We say call ref, just like we did up here, because we need to pass in a reference to a collection that we want to listen to or set up a subscription to. And then as a second argument, we pass in a function. And this function is going to fire every time there is a change in the collection and it sends us back a new snapshot and also once initially as well. So like this runs once initially, this is going to run once initially as well to get the data to begin with. But then it's also going to run thereafter this function every time there is a change in the collection that we're listening to. And it's going to send us back a new snapshot of that collection after the change occurs. Right. So unlike this one where we have a then method, we don't have a then method on here. We just fire this function whenever there's a change. So inside here, we take in the snapshot just like we do up here. And then that snapshot is going to be pretty much the same as this kind of snapshot. So inside this function, the logic, all this stuff is going to be the same. We can set up a new array called books. We can cycle through the documents on the snapshot. And for each document, we add a new object to the books array where we grab the data of the document and also the ID of the document. And then finally, we log those to the console. So what I'm going to do is actually just cut all of this and I'm going to paste it in right here instead. Let me just scoot this back. All right. And that's all there is to it, my friends. So now I can delete all this where we just get the data once. And instead, we're using this on snapshot function to listen to the data. So this function is going to go out and grab the data once to begin with and run this function when it gets it. So we log out the books to the console when we first load the page. But thereafter, if I was to add a new book or delete a book, that would trigger Firestore to send us back a new snapshot. And this function would run again so that we can output the books to the console again, the new updated data. All right. So I hope that all makes sense. So let me save this now and we'll give it a whirl in the browser. All right then, so when we first load the page, if I refresh, you can see it's performing that initial fetch to get the first initial snapshot of the collection. And we get these four documents right here. Now watch what happens if I try to delete one. So this, the wise man's fear, for example, I'm just gonna grab this ID and then I'm gonna paste it in here to delete the document. So as soon as I click on this, that should send out a request 
to delete the document from the collection in Firestore. It will delete it. And then that will trigger Firestore to send us back a new snapshot. The function is going to rerun in our code with that snapshot and it's going to log out the new data to the console. So we should see three books this time as soon as I delete the book and that's finished. So let me click this and now we can see three books in this array. And if we open this up, we can see the wise man's fear is no longer there. Awesome. Now, the same is true for if I add a new book. So I can say the wise man's fear up here and then it's by Patrick Rothfuss. Press enter to add a new book. We should get a new snapshot back and we do. And we can see that right here, four elements inside it, including the wise man's fear. Awesome. So that, my friends, is how we set up a real-time listener or a subscription to a Firestore collection to get real-time data back as events occur in the collection.